The University of Washington Undergraduate School of Medicine is a story of renewal. The School of Medicine has been part of the university for decades. They hadn't really readdressed their educational space for their first and second year students in decades. And the space that they had, that they were using every day and every night, was cramped and outmoded. It didn't work for them anymore. For 40 years, students and faculty operated out of an outdated learning space that utilized office suites as student lounges, ignored the adjacent views of the campus greenbelt, and overlooked any potential for daylighting a common story for many campuses across the country dealing with aging facilities from the 60s and 70s. Renovating buildings of this era is uh, going to become increasingly prevalent because their ability to actually perform at a higher level is diminishing over time because people's needs change, the way people work and the way people think change, and it's time for these buildings to be thought through again. There are very creative ways that we can almost start over with that space and all of a sudden another decade or two of useful life is in place and at a reduced cost. To bring relevancy back to the outdated University of Washington Medical School facility, a variety of spaces were created that offered students a sense of place and provided staff with the most advanced teaching methodologies. The resulting design solution includes a transparent student lounge, study nooks cut into the utility wall, and a flexible floor plan that allows faculty to quickly switch between classroom, lab, and exam room configurations. All of this was achieved by rotating the corridors 90 degrees, which allowed for the most efficient use of space and access to daylight and views. Turning the actual circulation space towards the windows allowed natural light to all of a sudden come deeply into the floor plan and begin to light some of those spaces on the inside. The classroom environments were designed for flexibility and social learning, able to accommodate a small team of six or a large group of 40 within minutes. The learner of today is more focused on social learning, being a part of a group, uh, sharing ideas. They're more likely to have class labs where they can talk about a problem, so it's, it's more a matter of coaching, advising, mentoring students, and putting them into an interactive space where they can work together on things. Dedicated areas for socializing and collaborative brainstorms were also created, taking the form of a transparent, daylit student lounge and brightly colored study nooks cut into the utility wall just outside the lounge. I think both the students and the faculty recognized that they were losing out on a tremendous opportunity to build that sense of community with the students by creating more space that would actually attract them to spend time together. The mouse holes are recesses built into that mechanical shaft wall system. So we found spaces that did not have pipes or ducts running through them and created um, a little cubby hole that a couple people could study in. The mouse nooks take very little space, but they have a huge impact. The rejuvenated School of Medicine provides a fresh identity and new home to students and faculty bringing back a sense of place and relevancy that had been missing for decades. Every time we walk through there, we see how many people are in and around that place, that there is a buzz there. Everybody in the building knows it.